Let me see the bruise, Connor. Looks sore. It's fine, he was just drunk. Look what he did. Drunk or not, you don't deserve this. Um, it's fine, I'll have Marcus to have a look when I get home. You know, Marcus tries to keep me away from you. He doesn't want us to be friends, but I have always been there for you. Ever since the accident. Not now. I don't want to talk about it. Just, just leave it. Can I say hello anymore? I thought your dad was picking you up. He was. Tell me what happened. I was at the park, just sitting waiting for him. Didn't I say I would get you at the school? You're not allowed back at the school. You said to get me at the park. I didn't ask for your cheek. Just get in the motor. Dad, just, Stephen, you can't drive. What are you going to do? You're going to get your imaginary girlfriend, don't you, me? What's she going to do? She's going to stab me with a bottle. Burn me with a fag. I don't want her to hurt you. She is not real, boy. You're seeing things like this psycho. I thought you'd stop seeing her. Are you taking your medication? It doesn't work. It's not in my head. She's, she's real. Connor, you need to take your medication. It'll help, trust me. She's the only one I can speak to. It feels like that because of what happened. It's grief. But you need to take your medication. Okay. Don't take them, Connor. You don't need them. You're perfectly fine. Come on, Connor. Put the pills down. You need me. You need someone that cares about you. Marcus is just trying to control you. Marcus looks out for me. He always has. Stop! If you take them, then I'll disappear, and you don't want that, do you? We need to stick together. Marcus is out working all the time and barely has time for you. He doesn't care about you. Marcus does care about me. I need to move on. Stop listening to you. You're making it worse. I don't need you anymore, Lucy. I can take care of myself. 